Please subscribe this channel. It's free. Thank you. Awake at last. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock. Time to wake up. I gotta get to work. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. And again, it's not like business has picked up any. <sighs> the streets sure are quiet today. been waiting long. Huh? Mm. Oh, right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. 
That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on, get it together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. up i'm all ears well you don't have to get all sarcastic uh you really are all ears uh what hey. forget it so long have you seen anybody this morning well yeah i mean i'm looking right at you aren't i and there's that customer what See her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah, look! Come with me right now! Easy! Quiet morning. Maybe they just... I mean no one. Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well... We woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hell put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to... I did mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. Huh? Hey, hey! You hey, can't just uh, leave! Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm the 
here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? Huh. Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I just see why in a crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused. Hey, <sighs> whoa, well, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset Let's too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. But I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You'll live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm uh, good with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct! Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles! Miracles? Our arms can... Do that? Dude... How could you forget? You used to command a whole legion of them! You were masters of them! Powerful living illusions known as mirages! In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you in those We could have ruled the world because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours, and you can make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's go try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? enough for one to tussle. We did it! The figure it out yet? The t <sighs> two of you were unsurpassed. No, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude. 
Seriously? Dude, the seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the mirages they had, they've been the stripped of all their memories of the mirages too? But, I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely on the affected. What? Listen, let me show you something. Just beyond this light lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so I... You're saying, whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess... It does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> Chapter One Land of the Lilikin. This must be Grimoire. What? <laughs> what? You look like such a little dweeb. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I know. We look ridiculous. <laughs> huh? Oh, don't so worry. I'm sure that's how everybody in this world must look. Anna Crow just wanted to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. I guess we should head straight down this path. It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not? Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call of Choco Chip. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chips prismarium. Every time you find a new of the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. It only the first time to mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the Choco Chip, then the use your prism. Oh, 
to the Clean Dot Mirage for your own. Go on, the Selectium Prism Command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and to give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. Choco Chick is inside the Prismarium. It's yours to the... That was a good fight. Chick running around in the prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that choco chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't then make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers, it does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. By the way, you two can this Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating the stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to be in Lilican form. The best way to learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the gimme golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Gimme, gimme! So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chicks the mirage board.
Whoa, it vanished. That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage of the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage Boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your mirage boards. Pretty soon you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimoire like a pair of the pros. I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong. And so when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own worlds. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like, right there, on the tip of my tongue. Now what's this? This is the Cotton Merkrift. Inside you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we Mirages? Say... Oh man, let's go catch them! Not very cute. Mon! Why did you? Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Murkris, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. Already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then to whisk you to safety. Although... It cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh! But just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Oh, the yeah! And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest of spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this, sir! Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. Yeah, uh... <laughs> hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. 
Um, okay. The real what question is how she got here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. Right. She must have experience hey. crossing between planes. over at North Promenade. on it. Uh-huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacrow made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and you ink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh, yeah. This prismarium belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I will. It's cool. 
I'll lock this place down tighter than a Marlboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphie guarantee. Huh? Oh, she was... But why are you going now? Oh, well. Somewhere else, of course. Mean? Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Awesome. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? I've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire, and light vanishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science? Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> Bye, Hasta la vista. She's gone. Dude. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots... She seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's Anna Krill for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? It's me. Anna Krill is Anna Krill, wouldn't you say? Pretty the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? Oh, uh... Oh, uh... Yeah! I want names! I know. But could we see all this stuff before? Now that you've bought that thing the once, you can see all its information. And if you happen to know some Libra magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Got it. Yep. Very good thing to keep in the mind, Long. Uh, why are you repeating it? And just for my sake? 